What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Sonic the Hedgehog. Now in today's lesson, we're gonna be drawing our character in a dynamic pose by turning the body over towards the left side. So start on the top left side of our page and draw an oval for the nose. We start right at the very top, go all the way around, and then back up towards the top. Let's add a small highlight oval along the top of the nose, and then we'll fill in the bottom. Now from here, we're going to work our way across towards the right along the top edge of the muzzle. Starting from the right side of the nose, start by curving this down, and then bend that up. Let's round out the edge of the muzzle, and then pull that back in. Now we're going to line up the top of the muzzle over on the left side of the nose, curve this around. Just going to bend this in towards the bottom of the head. Now we're going to work our way back up towards the right side, going across and then up. Let's shift the mouth over towards the top right. Starting up here, we're gonna start with a bracket. And then from the center of the bracket, curve the mouth coming down and then in. Now with the muzzle in place, we're gonna layer the eyes along the top. From the top edge of the nose, we're gonna step up and add that fold. Coming down towards the muzzle. And then bend that up. Go all the way up towards the top of the eye. We're gonna round this out down and then bend that back in toward the top of the muzzle. Now we're gonna layer the left eye in behind. From the inside of the brow, curl this out, and then bend that up. And then from the top, step down, curl the side of the eye going out and then back in. Let's add a large oval on the right side of the eye for the iris. Starting from the very top, come all the way down towards the bottom and back up towards the top. Now the left iris is going to sit on top of the nose. Starting from the brow, curve down and then in. Go to the inside, curve this up underneath the brow. Let's trace the iris along the inside. Leave an even space gap all the way around. And then back up. Trace the left side of the left eye and then the inside. Let's go back to the right side and add a small circle along the top of the pupil for a highlight. And then we'll fill in the bottom. And we'll fill in the inside of the left pupil. Now with the eyes in place, we're going to draw the profile edge of the head. From the bottom of the eye, we're going to step out. We're going to follow that curve going around, going up towards the brow. Let's round up the top and just bend that in. Let's add a fold along the top of the right eye. Start from the inside, curve this up, and we'll bend that down. Let's place the right ear on top of the brow. Starting from the inside, curve this up, and bend that out. From the top, go out towards the right, and then down. Now let's trace the ear along the inside. Stepping in, follow that same curve going up towards the top, Come down along the outside. Connect the bottom with a curve. Now let's go back to the left side and draw on the top of the head. Start from the top of the brow, curve this up, and bend that across in behind the ear. Let's continue that curve on the right side, going out, and then bending that down. Let's go back and tuck the left ear in behind the head. Start from the side, curve the ear going up, and then out, come down along the bottom, and then back in towards the side of the head. Let's trace the bottom edge of the ear along the inside, and then we'll taper this back in towards the side of the head. Let's place that large second spike in behind the ear. So we're going to start from the side, curve this out, and then bring that all the way down towards the bottom. Keep that back in towards the side. Let's go back up to the top. We're going to tuck this in behind, coming in and then down. Now we're going to go back underneath the head on the right side, curve the third spike going across and then bending that down. Connect the top and the tip with another curve.
Now with the head complete, we're gonna draw the right arm crossing the body. Starting underneath the head, start by curving this down, and then out towards the wrist, and then we'll overlap the cuff on top of the arm. Step up, rounding this out, and pulling that back in. Now we go all the way back over towards the right, just gonna round out the shoulder, pull that in, and we'll follow that same curve, tucking this in underneath the cuff, doing a little overlap along the bottom. And now we're gonna wrap the cuff around the wrist. We're gonna step in on top of the arm, going up around that fold, and then down. Come all the way down towards the bottom, come down and then up. Go back up to the top, go around the outside of the cuff, and then back in along the bottom. Let's go back down to the bottom of the cuff, cut the bottom of the palm going out and then up, and it'll wrap around the fingers. Stepping down, come down, up, and then down. Let's layer in another finger. Starting from the top, curve up, and then down. Now I'm gonna point the last finger. Starting from the top of this curve, go out and up, round up the finger, Come down, and then just bend that back in towards the cuff. Now we're gonna layer the front edge of the body in behind the arm. Let's start underneath the head, curve this out, and then down in behind the arm. Continue along the bottom, going out, and then bend that in. Let's go to the back of the body and add that large spike. Curving out, and then down. I'm just gonna taper this back in towards the side of the body. Let's leave a gap along the bottom, step over towards the right, curl the leg, and down, and then out towards the ankle, and we'll round up the bottom, going towards the outside. Let's follow this curve, going along the back of the leg, going up, towards the top, round up the back, coming in, and then we'll connect this up towards the bottom of that spike. Let's layer one more spike in behind. From the tip, step in, go down, and then pull that back up towards the back of the body. Now we're gonna bend the left leg up towards the knee. From the top of the leg, step down, curl this up, and then out. From the inside of the knee, we're gonna step in, round at the bottom of the ankle, pull this out, and up towards the knee. Now I'm gonna round up the knee, pull this in and then down towards the side of the body. Now before we go any further, let's draw that patch on the left side of the body. We start underneath the arm, start by curving down towards the bottom, just following the same curve of the body. Round up the bottom and then just pull that back up. And now we're gonna wrap the cuff around the right leg. From the bottom, step up, we're gonna draw a circle all the way around and just tucking this in behind the leg. Let's go to the top right side of the cuff, curve the foot going all the way around, and we'll bend that in towards the tip of the foot. Let's bring the foot back up towards the left side of the cuff. We're going to round out the toe, going up, and then bending that in. Let's wrap that cuff around the left leg. From the bottom, step out, we're going to add a fold, coming down, and then up. Move back over, curve down, and then up underneath the leg. Let's go to the outside of the cuff and curve the foot. Going out, and then down. Round up the toe, come in. I'm just going to pull this up underneath the body. Now we're going to add a thick sole along the right side of each foot. From the top, we'll step over, just follow that same curve, coming down towards the toe, and just pull that out. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the heel, going all the way around, down towards the toe, and then out. Now we're gonna add that stripe across the foot. Let's start from the outside, come down, bend that in towards the sole, step down, and draw that same curve. Now on top of the right foot, we're gonna curve in the opposite direction. Let's start from the left side, curve up and then down. Step down and draw that again. 
Let's separate the edge of the buckle. We step in, draw a straight angle line coming down towards the bottom, and I'll trace this shape along the inside. Now I'm going to twist the left arm back over towards the right. Let's we'll start from the side of that spike, draw a straight angle line coming down towards the cuff. I'm going to overlap the cuff on top of the arm with a curve. Step up, draw another straight angle line going back in behind the body. Let's wrap that cuff around the wrist. Stepping in, start by curving around that fold. And then from the bottom, go all the way around and then back up on the outside. From the bottom of the cuff, we're going to curl around the thumb. Going around towards the bottom, go up, and then bend that back down. And then from the top, just going to add a fold. Now let's point the first finger. Start from the outside of the thumb, curl this out, and then down towards the tip. Round up the finger, and then pull that back in. Now I'm going to curl around the last two fingers. Start from the top, going out, up. I'm just going to pull this back out towards the fold. Let's go back up to the top, tuck the last finger going around, and then back in. Let's close the back of the hand from the cuff, going up and then down in behind the finger. Now the last thing we're going to do is add the tail coming out on the right side. So starting from the hip, go this down and out. And then we'll taper that back in. And that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Sonic the Hedgehog. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And if you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.